Welcome to the group, everybody. Today we are going to focus first on caring. And we will be using some psychodrama therapy. As a reminder, Karen will be the pilot. Um, I will play the witness. And Karen will assign the ideal role as we go and discover what she wants to work on today. Karen, you are now enlisted in the role of pilot. Can you come and sit by me and tell me what you're experiencing right now? Um, I just really don't want to be here right now. Uh, yeah, I'd rather be doing something else. <laughs> From the way you're tapping your foot as a witness, I would say you're experiencing anxiety. Um, yeah, maybe. As a witness, I would say that um, you have something in your experience that is making it hard to sit still. Can you tell us what's on your mind? Um, well, I've been thinking a lot about um, my mother who died. Um, I was 12 and she had cancer. Mm, that sounds hard. Karen, would you like to do some work involving your mother today? Sure. Okay. Well, let's start by um, using an object to represent. We need to pick an object to represent your mother. Um, and I have three objects here. Go ahead and choose one that you would like to represent your mother. Okay. Um, maybe the doll in the front. All right. Imagine your mother in your mind's eye. Where in the room should we put her? Um, how about here? Right. Now imagine you felt, um, imagine how you felt when you found out she was going to die. Um, well, they didn't really talk about it a lot. Um, at first, it seemed like really sudden. Um, like three months we found out and then she was gone. Um, and then, and then since I was the oldest, I had to stay home and take care of my siblings. Like, uh, like I was a kid myself, but yeah, anyways. <laughs> As a witness, I would say from the tone in your voice, it sounds like you feel angry about this. But I'm not supposed to be angry, right? Like, she had terminal cancer. How screwed up is that? <laughs> As a, a witness, I would say you feel shame about feeling that anger. Um, yeah, that's probably right. Like, I really shouldn't be resenting a dead woman. As a witness, I would say when you refer to your mother as a dead woman, it means that you didn't feel close to her. Well, how could I? I mean, she said some pretty terrible things to me when she was alive. Yeah. What would you like to tell her um, that you didn't get a chance to tell her when she was alive? Things that were possibly forbidden to say to her. Why don't you tell her now? Okay. Um, Mom, you should never have spent my childhood telling me I was no good. You shouldn't have told me I was a big burden to you and that you would be out there having fun if it wasn't for me. You should have taken care of yourself somehow instead of drinking and smoking. You shouldn't have died and left me. Karen, that was great. Let's now choose the role of your ideal mother. Um, who would you like that to be today? How about you, Linda? Great. Okay, <coughs> now you are in the role of the ideal mother. Linda, as Karen's ideal mother, what would you like to say to her? Um, Karen, as your ideal mother, I want to tell you that you belong to me. And you bring every joy I can imagine into my life. I love you very much. And when I see you, my whole world lights up. Um, I will always be your greatest supporter and advocate. I will always and forever be on your side, and I will always be with you. 
Even if you were to make the greatest mistake, I would still support you. You can do no wrong in my eyes. I believe in you. I believe in your fundamental goodness. I'll be by your side every moment of the way, every day of your life. Karen, as your ideal mother, I'm standing here gazing at you, and I wonder, how did you become so damn lovable? I love you, Karen. How does that feel, Karen? It feels good. It feels good to hear it. Um, I think I can receive it. Karen, I can now see that your body is becoming still, and your breathing is deeper. Um, can you put this feeling you're having right now into a long-term memory? I think I can try. Now let's take the mother out of her role. Let's take you out of the role of pilot. Let's take Linda out of the role of the ideal mother. Let's take me out of the role of witness. And let's go back to the group circle. And if we feel good about it, let's discuss what happened here today. <laughs>